they were using the consent of the warden to authorize that, and that's unlawful. Well, the attorney representing several families expressing her frustration tonight. Thank you so much for joining us at 6. I'm Ian Wright. And I'm Brittany Decker. The family say their loved ones who died while incarcerated in Alabama were missing organs after their autopsies. Our WVTM 13's Lisa Crane is live in Birmingham tonight. Lisa, you spoke to this attorney. These families have a lot of questions. Are they getting any answers at this point? Well, not really. You know, one lawsuit has already been filed and attorney Lauren Foreno says several more are coming. The families want answers about why their loved ones organs were kept by either the Department of Forensic Science or the UAB. And they say they also want to stop the practice allowing it to happen. Brandon Dodson, Charles Singleton and Kelvin Moore, all incarcerated at the time of their deaths and all missing organs when their families received their bodies. UAB has found this, what they think is a loophole that allows them to collect organs from this endless supply of dead bodies that are coming out of the Department of Corrections. Attorney Lauren Vereno says that loophole really isn't a loophole. We reached out to UAB today who sent this statement saying in part, we only conduct autopsies with consent or authorization, including authorization for the final disposition of the organs and tissues. But who's giving that consent? Foreno says it's the prison wardens, not the family, which Foreno says is unlawful. The law is clear. Governor Ivey signed into law in 2021 a bill that prevents the retention of organs without family knowledge and permission. It is clear. Foreno says she was contacted by a UAB medical student months ago who said they were disturbed because they were seeing a disproportionate number of specimens in the lab coming from people who were incarcerated at the time of their death. If I had to guess what the motivation is, I would say money. Isn't that usually what it is? It may be a matter of having the organs for medical research, but what does that medical research lead to? Money. Now, we also reached out to the Department of Corrections. They released a statement saying they do not comment on pending litigations, but they added, please note that the ADOC does not authorize or perform autopsies. Live in Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.